Hey there everyone, this is Josh from Fresh Start Customs. I just wanted to do a quick video for anyone who just got a Glowforge just to kind of introduce the app.glowforge.com. As you can see up here, I just highlighted it. Um, this is your main page for everything Glowforge. Um, this is going to be where you upload all of your designs. As you can see, I've got some of my designs here. And I'll go through um, another video in the future about like how to upload, trace, and the basic functions within each design too. But this is just an overview of the site itself. So as you can see, when you come to the site, you also have like the catalog, shop, community, and support. If you just got your Glowforge, you may want to start on support first. And as you can see, I opened all of these tabs up to match these things here and we'll go through that really quick. So if you just got your Glowforge, I would click on support. That'd be this tab here will open and then you can do unboxing and setting up. This will do a walkthrough of how you can set up your Glowforge. Um, it's step by step instructions. And then afterwards you have like cleaning services, your safety, regular standard stuff. Um, and this is basically how you learn how to do your first sprints too. So this would be your go-to starting point of unboxing first. So like, for example, if we click on unboxing here, it has all of the steps right in a row, what, what you can do, the two boxes that you would expect in order to come into the mail. Um, as you can see, the big one's the Glowforge. Small one is usually your tray and um, your vent that you would vent out the window. Right now, they don't have the filters out quite yet. Hopefully, that'll come soon. It'd be great not to vent outside. But yet, I wonder how well the smell would actually dissipate. I've never personally used one of those filters, so if anybody has, let me know how well they dissipate smell. I'd love to know. Um, so back to the main site here for your community thing. It seems like they, they actually have this set up backwards the way that I would have laid it out, but um, support would be your first point, and then community is a great place where you can actually um, ask a bunch of questions. So if you're new and you have questions or you just want to show off designs, a lot of people do that too. You go click on community and that will bring you to your forms. So this is where all of your most important information will come from, in my opinion. Um, very helpful people. Um, so usually there's a new tab, but I already went through all the new recent information. But as you can see, you can go through like unreaded, uh, unread information here. And it basically, somebody asks a question or list a, a situation and other users will comment on that and walk you through it help you out. So this is definitely a good place that you can check that out. If you have a question, you can do like a new topic right here. Um, and as you can see, got my little logo there. You can actually update all of your information right on the site there as well. Um, so let's go back to the main page again. Now that kind of explained that situation. And let's go to your shop section next. So the shop is where you actually get proof grade material if you use those. Um, you can do like draft boards, hardwood, plywood, acrylic leather, veneer, and all of your spare parts if you need parts for the Glowforge. Uh, I have yet to need any spare parts, uh, but that would come in handy. So let's say for your lenses, those are a consumable product. Um, over time, they will go bad eventually. I've had my Glowforge for about eight months now, no issues. Um, but yeah, that's that's one that maybe need down the line. The rest are all really optional. Um, some people use exclusively proof grade material. I use um, my own material from like Lowe's or Home Depot that I cut down. Uh, just save some money and then you don't have to wait for shipping either. Um, but there is a lot of extra work that goes into it because you would need like masking material and all that good stuff. And I can go into that in a future video, 
how I cut down the wood, how I add, add masking. So if you have questions on that, we can go over that in a future um, video here. I just wanted to discuss just the main app itself here. So if we go back, you got your last tab here is catalog. So the catalog is basically like designs that Glowforge sells here. So for example, they're selling uh, this retro boombox phone amp or amplifier um, for $10.99 for the design, but that's only for one print, or you can print it as many times as you want for $34.99. Um, so if you are brand new and you want to try one of those designs, go for that. Um, I will put a link below with a bunch of free designs that I, I made. Um, if you want to check those out and try one of those, I'll go through that in an upcoming video of how, how you can download those and save them as an SVG file, because that's what the format you're going to need for the Globeforge, and then print them off. So. You can try out some free designs. I also do the name your own price design. So a dollar for uh, one design that I make minimum uh, just to help out newbies there um, or veterans if you like the design. Um, so that's totally up to you. Just wanted to show you all this. And another cool thing is about the, the community button that I showed you earlier. You can go in there, click on categories and there's the free laser design. So you can actually get free designs from there from shared community members. There's a lot of cool stuff in there too. So check that out if you just, uh, if you don't want to design right off the bat and you want to just try and print something without actually designing when you first get your Glowforge, check that out. There's some pretty cool stuff in there as well. And, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the overview. Um, of the, the app itself. And then you have like different functions over here that you can read through, like there's referral codes. So if you don't have a Glowforge, for example, you could use my code below in the link um, to share, to save yourself up to $500 off the machine. Um, so check that out. Otherwise, if you have one and you have a friend who wants to buy one, you would just click that share the love button there to get your own link to share with your friends as well to save them some money um, and then they just do like latest updates kind of thing down here and then this basically is a quick link for like the manual but you can get that in the support as well but that's pretty much it um, if you guys have any other questions give me a shout out um, comment below and subscribe if you want to see all the future ones I'm gonna try and keep these as short as possible um, and that way, when somebody searches, it's going to be to the point, they'll understand it, and we can move on to the next video for you. All right, we'll catch you later, guys.